Hey everyone, I just want to do my winners and losers for the whole draft and give some extra respect to some of the teams. They won't change too much from the first round, but let's just go through it. So Chicago, I already talked about. I thought they had a couple great later picks, but obviously the first couple I already gave the shout to. Columbus, some great steals later in the draft. I feel like if you look at the Blue Jackets draft five years from now, they're going to have a couple huge gems. And I, the fact that they got Gavin Brindley uh, on top of uh, getting, obviously, Adam Fantilli third overall, I think it's huge. Uh, San Jose, I thought the, the Sharks had a great draft. Uh, obviously, uh, their early pick of Will Smith, I talked about Musty. Uh, and I thought overall, looking at their draft, um, it seems like they got a few potential steals. Uh, looking at the Jets, I mean, you know what? Outside of actually just having an overall great draft, I actually thought mad respects to them picking up Thomas Millich. Yes, 20 years old and, and being through the draft a couple times. I love what the Jets did overall in this draft. Uh, the Carolina Hurricanes, uh, seeing what they, their, their trend usually is is getting those later steals. And I, I thought in general, it's not like they had a top 15, top 20 pick. I thought a guy like Perron they got uh, was a, def, a definite steal potentially. Um, Philly, I thought Philly did well. I mean, outside of just Mitch Koff, I thought Philly did well overall. Washington, I thought Washington got a couple potential steals. Dallas is a weird one for me. I feel like Dallas early on, couple misses potentially, but uh, I think later in the draft, uh, they did well. My guy Angus from uh, Mississauga, they got Rangers. I thought they did well. Um, Colorado I have listed here. I mean, the fact that they got uh, a couple late gems in the first round, I love the fact that they got Callum Ritchie, so I've got to give a shout there. And I mean, I could give, honestly... I feel like looking at this draft, because it was so stacked, I feel like I can give winner status to like 20 teams, you know? Losers, it's a, a lot harder because it's well into the future here where you look back. But Montreal, I, I mean, outside of Fowler, and, and I thought the fact that Habs are, are trying to throw darts at getting a great goalie, uh, drafting a few goalies, which is not common. Um, I thought Ryan Bacher over the guys that were available. I think Ryan Bacher could still be a top four defenseman, even a top pairing defenseman one day. But if Mitch Koff pans out the way he could and guys like Leonard and Benson and, and all these guys that went in the top 15, I feel like these are all top tier talents. So Ryan Bacher's really got to become a top pair defenseman for that pick not to look bad, in my opinion. Um, Arizona was just a mess for a lot of their picks. So I'll leave it at that. I already talked about it. Uh, Boston, Toronto, Tampa just didn't have significant enough draft capital to really evaluate them. So, I mean, maybe a loser by default, but I thought Toronto maybe got a couple steals. Uh, we'll see what happens with the rest of the teams. Um, just in terms of, I, I want to talk about losers of like the day or losers of dr the draft in general, in terms of like lack of moves. And I feel like one of those teams is the Ottawa Senators that I, I thought with the Sens and I feel like Sens were holding on like even way towards the end. Uh, hoping for like some gems is just like there was no clarity on the situation like Ottawa still has no clarity on the goaltending situation no clarity on the Debrin kit situation um, no clarity on, no clarity on a few issues and obviously ownership being the topic of discussion and I know some fans are not happy with DJ Smith coming back so maybe a loser in that mentality um, I thought St. Louis like I said I thought they were gonna make a couple trades so disappointing in that aspect I had the Red Wings as maybe borderline uh, losers, but I like the Sandy and Pelica. And, and you know what? I'll say this. I think the Red Wings are, are waiting. They made the Yamamoto and uh, Clem Costin trade from Edmonton. Didn't give up anything. So we'll see what they do with that. Um, but yeah, there's a few teams I could mention. Like I actually thought Nashville had a couple sneaky good picks. Um, but honestly, I, I, I thought first round, I, I thought there was a couple misses from them. I thought um, just seeing the fact that Musty was on the board, especially for their second pick, and they still passed on him, I was surprised. So, yeah, there's a few other teams I could talk about. Like, Vancouver made a couple weird picks. I know some people like Wallinder, but, again, I feel like the Canucks still are swaying away from best player available. You can like Wallinder. You can like the fit of being a defenseman, and I feel like that was, like, the cliche for this draft, the Canucks picking a defenseman. But I just think you have to, especially in the NHL draft, you have to pick best player available. And that's why I was a little fresher with the Leafs thing. Because it's like, okay, at the end of the day, who was going to pick Cowan in the first round? I don't think anyone, right? So if there was a potential the Leafs dropping 10 spots and being confident to still get Cowan, 
But I want to be careful in saying things because once upon a time, I said the same thing about Marit Sider. I told Stevie Y, being the noob that I am, telling Stevie Y to drop 10 spots to draft Sider still. I mean, Sider may not have been there 10 spots later. So in the Leafs perspective, if they really believe that someone was going to take Cowan within the next like 10, 15 spots, then you just select him at the spot if, you, if you're that uh, attracted to the player. So uh, I think with Cowan, I mean... Guy looks like he has a bit of a bite, has a motor up, and uh, yeah, it seems like he's a, a tough player to play against and, and really turned it on in the second half of the year and in the playoffs. So if Cowan can keep that progression going, like that's those are the kind of players that it, it's the high risk. It, it doesn't look great and the fans are on you, but it could end up being a steal. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly chat up with the draft guys and, and maybe the lack of trades like that's why I'm talking about teams like Ottawa, maybe even Florida in there, Calgary, uh, St. Louis, like teams that I thought were going to make more deals really didn't. So uh, hit that subscribe button, like, notification bell, leave your comments down below, and I'll be making more videos. So And, and look out for the live stream for free agency as well. All right, see ya. Peace.